So thank you very much for um, making part of this conference. Uh, I think it's a very difficult one because of the pandemic. But even if there's a pandemic going on, we still push through with it. So I'm very proud of everybody. I think this is a milestone, I think, for, for everybody. Okay. Um, let me share my, pres uh, my presentation to you. Okay. So my presentation is a little bit... I think a little bit long, but then um, don't worry. I'll make I'll cut it short. I do have a lot of slides, but then uh, we will just go over the data that I have. So basically, um, the title of my presentation. Just give you a moment. The title of my presentation is "Navigating Across the Reali uh, Realities and Morals in Thai Iaoi Series," and it's probably used as instructional materials. Okay, so let me give you an introduction. Of course, the focus of this particular uh, presentation is, of course, more on Taiyoi series. Um, as you can see right here, it is the local appropriation of Yayoi. Of uh, it, uh, definitely, it comes from Japan, and then it talks about romantic narratives of. It talks about romantic narratives of between uh, a masculine boy and a feminine boy. Okay, and. Um, Let's go on. Okay, now, um, in this particular manuscript or in this particular project that I have, I'm trying to um, see if there is a culturation um, that is happening right now in the Philippines. And definitely, it has already started. So I would like to capture that particular phenomenon. Okay? So... Um, basically, of course, the uh, Thai society and the Filipino uh, society, they have something in common, and that is family values and social harmony. However, there may be difference between the two because, of course, while uh, actually uh, Thai society is definitely, um, it embraces change in culture and tradition at the same time, but then the Filipino society is a little bit conservative, Okay. So with that, I would like to explore, of course, the differences, uh, uh, of course, the, the difference of the culture of the two uh, through the lens of the Thai Ayoi series. And then um, this is through the lens of education. Now, um, I'm thinking that if, I'm thinking that this Thai Ayoi series, uh, of course, since it is a form of literature, it's a digital form of literature, then if literature, for example, shares, highlights the realities and morals of life, probably, then it shares something about culture. And this is something that I would like to know and I would like to share to everybody. Now, if they do present, for example, values, um, the realities of life and culture, uh, culture and then morals definitely then they may be used as instructional materials but it depends upon the individuals who will actually use it which are the teachers okay now i actually checked some references just give me a moment okay just um, give you a moment. Okay. So I I checked uh, the different um, references about media formats presenting LGBTQA plus life, but no studies on the realities and morals in Taiyoi series were actually made. And then I also checked uh, Taiyoi series as a subject of studies, but there were no studies on the probable use of Taiyoi series as instructional materials. Studies on series as instructional materials were also checked. Okay, now most studies, um, most studies regarding the use of series in, as instructional materials, they focus on language learning. But then there are only few studies on the use of TV series featuring sexuality and homosexuality as instructional materials. So with that, I I came across with the following objectives of the study. So. First is to navigate across the realities and morals of Taiyoi series, and two, to confirm their probable use as instructional materials. I do have two research questions. What are the realities and morals presented in Taiyoi series as analyzed in uh, the critical reflections of the respondents? And then uh, two, can Taiyoi series be utilized as instructional materials in kindergarten, elementary, junior high school, and senior high school? So this is uh, the method that I used. So this study used exploratory sequential mixed methods, uh, method, and this method is used when there are qualitative data to be analyzed and, and the results are to be used in succeeding uh, quantitative study. Okay? 
So basically, I begin with the qualitative study. So I chose um, participants. Uh, of course, I used purposive sampling. Um, I had um, 30 participants and uh, the, in uh, the inclusion criterion that I have is at least the individual must have at least uh, watched um, one Tayoyoi series, of course, and then they were asked to uh, do critical reflections, and then they analyzed uh, the content of. Uh, I, then I analyzed definitely the content of the critical reflections that they uh, had, and then I arranged and presented them into themes. So for the quantitative study, I chose. Uh, of course, the teachers, because definitely, just like what I mentioned earlier, the teachers are the ones uh, who are in charge of the instruction, and therefore, they do have the ability or they do have the freedom to choose which instructional materials can be used. So I chose the teachers as my respondents. However, I also set qualifications. First, um, at least they, they must have one year in practice. That's the minimum experience that they should have and at least pass the licensure examination for teachers because it gives us the idea that uh, they do have um, at least the knowledge in teaching, particularly in choosing instructional materials as this is included in the licensure exam. Then um, there, were actually, um, uh, there was a, a two-part survey uh, conducted uh, about the degree of agreement in the use of Tai Yoyoi uh, series themes as content for instruction and Tai Yoyoi series as instructional material. So I used a mean and four Likert scale to get um, the level of agreement. Then I also used now to further explore the data. Um, I used uh, the Z-score to further explore the data and to get the significance, dif uh, significant difference of the means in survey parts 1 and 2. So first, I conducted the survey, which is part 1, based on the study 1's themes. So I get it from there. And then uh, right after uh, right there, after accomplishing the first part of the survey, um, it was revealed to them that these themes are actually from Taiyoyi series. So in the part one, they don't know that these themes are actually from Taiyoyi series, but then later on, it was revealed to them. So that's before uh, conducting survey part two. So before survey uh, part two, they were provided with Taiyoyi series definition and encouraged respondents to watch such a series before conducting survey part two. Okay, um, they were not forced, they were encouraged. Okay, because of course, we will try to see if, if they like it or if they don't. Okay, so, so uh, right after that, um, uh, the second part of the survey was conducted and then we got uh, the significant difference of parts one and two. Okay, so the qualitative study presents the realities and morals of the Thai AOE, uh, series, particularly, of course, somehow the Thai culture and uh, the realities right there and the morals and the values right there, particularly in the minority, uh, LGBTQ. Okay, so um, quantitate, in the quantitative study, it presents the probable use of Thai AOE series as instructional materials. So with this, we can see that if the teachers accept um, these kinds of materials, probably they have been already acculturated with such series coming from Thailand. Okay, so these are the results and discussion of the study. So I have six um, themes right here. Okay. So these are um, oh, uh, these are the um, Taiyoyi series that were analyzed, uh, from which uh, the critical reflections of uh, the participants uh, were derived. Actually, so I have here the eleven um, the eleven series right here. Okay. So right after that, uh, of course, the themes were actually derived. So. Uh, First, I do have here uh, the themes, uh, Facing Homophobia, uh, Community Suffering Stores, that's the theme one. So right here, as you can see, um, the suffering one that they have is falling in love and sexual orientation difference that is reflected in the critical reflection on theory of love. Suffering two is a homosexual love treated as unserious and really about pleasure that is reflected in Tharn Tide, the series. Uh, suffering three past societies and acceptance of, of homosexual love that is presented in Until We Meet Again uh, in that a particular uh, reflection. And then suffering four is hiding real sexual orientation from the society as being reflected in, uh, when they talk, uh, when they uh, analyzed I Told You, I, I Told Something About You and Dark Blue Kiss, the series. 
So here are the reflections. So I put it here. I will just uh, we will just go over it. Okay, so I also have theme two, love uh, from and for others, self-motivation and altruism through love. So here's how it goes. So we will just go over it because we just have merely uh, 15 minutes. Okay, so uh, the, third, uh, the third theme, we do have bridging gaps, communication as conflict solution. That's the theme that we have. Okay, so... We also have a uh, theme for doing no harm, harmonizing, understanding, acceptance, and respect. That, that is for theme four. Okay. So for theme number five, change of heart, uh, transfiguring negative to positive attitudes. So that is for theme number five. So going on, uh, here are the reflections once again. So we do have uh, theme six, topics in and on LGBTQ+. Plus, um, Contemporary communities' perspectives uh, towards, of course, the community. So we do have social inclusion, selfless love, love spectrum, life transparency. So these, uh, this is theme number six. So here are the reflections. Okay. So, yeah, so let's have the this one. So if I see if I really series present realities and morals, then can they be used as instructional materials? We know that. Um, one of the things that we consider in choosing an instructional material, uh, especially if you're a teacher, is uh, first, of course, to check if it will allow the students to learn and at the same time learn values from it. Sometimes we go on the technicalities but uh, more, but then, of course, we are after the values, especially in this generation. So this is, um, this is the very point of this. Okay, so let's talk about Taya Yowie series probable use as instructional materials. So in the first part of the survey, um, what was checked was the agreement degree on Taya Yowie series themes as content for instruction. Then just like what I mentioned, um, it was revealed to them that right after answering, it was revealed to them that these themes were actually from Taya Yowie series. They were provided with the definition of Taya Yowie series and they were encouraged watching the series. So for part two of the survey, um, what was gauged was the agreement degree on Taiyue series as instructional materials. So as you can see right here, this is uh, the result. Okay. So what you see right here is actually the mean. Um, the four-point Likert scale that we have, uh, legend is right here, four, which means strongly agree, um, three, agree, two, disagree, and number one, strongly disagree. So if you will notice, let's take a look at this first one, degree of agreement on teaching the emerging theme of the qualitative study, which is teaching the causes of suffering and it's teaching through Taya Yui series. So the red one um, in here, in this red one, um, the participants were not yet informed that these were actually from Taya Yui series. So basically, if you will notice from kindergarten, of course, they tend to be, they, they do have a disagreement in the use of thai, uh, in the use of teaching causes of suffering. Probably it is too early for them. Okay, however, the limits of this study uh, is definitely just knowing um, their preference or the degree of agreement. So the reasons were not actually included in this particular manuscript. It may be part of another further studies. Okay, so that is part of the limitations and the recommendations that I have. Okay, but then as you can see, as the level go, uh, as the level increases, of course they tend to accept such thing. Then uh, they were informed about a uh, Taiyoyi series, and then they were uh, asked to uh, watch it. And right after that, this is the result. So it seems that there is indeed it's really obvious that um, the, the the agreement decreases. Okay, so as you can see right here, this is what we have. So this is, uh, we will not go over everything because we're going to focus the, uh, until theme six. Um, it's much better if you're going to read, of course, the manuscript. But then uh, in most cases, this chart, as you can see, there is indeed, even if you don't look, even if you don't look at, um, even if you don't look at the very thorough difference, of course, that is shown by Z-score and the p-value right here, you will notice in this diagram that there is an indeed significant difference. So, okay, so let's uh, go over the data. 
Okay. So let's have the conclusions and recommendations. So so let's have the uh, research questions and the conclusions. What are the realities and morals presented in Thai Yoyo series as analyzing the critical reflections of the respondents? First, homophobia is a source of community suffer uh, source of community suffering. So kindly omit this one. Self-motivation and altruism can be achieved through love. Communication can solve conflict through understanding, acceptance and res- through understanding, accept, and respect follow. Then love and healthy communication change uh, negative to positive attitudes. And then the next one is, Taiyoi series confirms that LGBTQ plus uh, community faces social inclusion, shows um, shows selfless uh, love, presents the limits of life transparency, highlights the unique ways of love. So for the... Uh, the next one, so can Thai AOE series be utilized as instructional materials in kindergarten, elementary, and junior high school and senior high school? So just like what I have shared to you earlier, of course, in the lower levels, definitely um, you will notice that they are not um, in the, the level of the uh, the level of agreement is low, or they do disagree in the use of um, the use of Thai AOE series. But then uh, upon incre- uh, upon the increase of level going to senior high school, um, they tend to have a higher um, degree of agreement. However, in senior high school, they still remain to be undecided nearing to disagreement in teaching contemporary communities' perspectives, particularly in the, in the use of the IOV series. So here, it is clear that though the teacher respondents agree on teaching the emerging themes as contents for instruction, but then when they were, re- but then when it was revealed that it is from Taiyoi series, they are still not in favor of using Taiyoi series as instructional materials. Okay, so in other words, as teachers approve of uh, which instruction materials are to be used in class, and they disagree on the use of Taiyoi series, therefore, so far, the series cannot be used as instructional materials in the Philippine setup, particularly. Okay, so implication on culture and instruction. It can also be deemed that though uh, the Thai to Filipino acculturation process happens in the Philippines through Thai AOE series, the academy is not yet ready to embrace such a series as part of the instruction and its materials. In other words, the culture of the Filipino instruction remains conservative and unculturated by the rising pop culture of the Thai people. The culture of the Filipino instruction remains conservative as shown in the teacher's Disagreement on the probable use of Thai Yoyoi series. Hence, the content and instructional materials are evidently intertwined with culture. Okay, the emerging themes uh, that present the Thai rea- uh, the, the realities and morals of the LGBTQ plus show how inclusive and progressive the Thai culture is. It is inclusive since it is genderless. Particularly, it does not see sexual orientation as hindrance to love and be loved. In fact, it promotes harmony, shattering the taboos of traditional culture. Um, it is progressive since it is ready to embrace the changing norms of the society. It progresses because instead of promoting discriminating, the Thai culture understands individual and diversity. Okay, so recommendations. Uh, both foreign and native teachers must be culture sensitive in selecting, of course, uh, this um, instructional materials or culture-based instructional materials as eva- uh, an evaluation instrument that will identify uh, the cultural acceptability of foreign instructional materials may be used, curriculum and instruction materials may be developed to guide other teachers. Okay, moreover, in the uh, in case there is an attempt to use such series in the instruction, it is suggested to start with older students as their mindset has uh, already been established and they already have ability to decipher the positive and negative angles of the curriculum and instruction materials presented to them. So other recommendations impact on uh, ser- series makers and Thai studies film and series makers must also be careful enough in writing scripts and presenting them as these are influential hence they can make or break a person and even the whole local and global community furthermore the thorough analysis of the Thai Yowie series must further flourish as they are agents of the internationalization of Thai culture as they have already crossed the borders of the land of the free which is Thailand and lastly we do have the recommendations as impact on Thai, uh, impact on future researches. Since identifying the reasons that the respondents did not watch Thai Yowie series is not within the scope of the study, future researchers may, uh, may conduct a study to discern the reasons behind. Furthermore, the study's way of dis- uh, disseminating information about Thai Yowie series was... Uh, and, uh, 
and the encouragement to watch those were uh, limited and restricted due to the constraints of the pandemic. Other researchers researchers may come up with a program promoting Taiyui and its use as instructional materials and check its effectiveness. So I think that's it. Thank you very much for listening. So that was my paper. It's still in progress. I know that there are lots of things to work on, especially on uh, the literature part uh, as given by the peer reviewer. But then it is in, in progress still. So thank you very much for listening.